hello lovelies welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time of stopping by i say welcome you are highly welcome please consider subscribing to my channel so this is the style i'll be making today if it's something that you're interested in please keep watching and watch to the end So for this style, I started by cutting the down part of it um, because that's where much fab fabric is needed before I cut out the upper part. So I doubled my waist measurement. That's um, the waist is 25 inches. I doubled it, um, divided the waist into two. That's the front and the back. Then for the back one, the back one has zipper allowance, which I divided into two to serve as as the two sides. You are going to understand what I'm trying to say in later on in the video so for the upper bodies i marked my half length which is 11 inches divide 11 inches sorry plus one inch allowance then i went ahead to mark my shoulder measurement and that same shoulder measurement is what i went down with with for my armhole length that's the lines i marked so i'm going to go ahead at armhole length to mark my bust measurement and my waist measurement as well the bust measurement is 25 divided by 4 and the waist is 26 divided by 4 then i went ahead to insert my neck measurement which is 2.5 by 2.5 that's what i did uh, and uh, my man went down by one inch for my shoulder loop connected it to my armhole and that's it then mark my um my neckline I give I gave it a, a curve to get that um, round neck and also connected my armhole and that's it for the front front part then for the back bodies the only difference there is the neckline which i went down with one one inch and then the zipper allowance that's the only difference from the front and the back part one and i cut it out as well if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please hit on that subscribe button because i have beautiful styles for your princesses coming up on this channel hit on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell to be notified and don't forget to give me a thumbs up share my videos to family and friends as well so this is for the sleeve i decided to cut the f um the two sleeves together that's why i folded my fabric into four as you saw what i did and then i marked the length of my sleeve this length included i included the um allowance in it before marking i added two inches allowance for it then for this and um, please i went down by three inches and i connected it like when you're connected it if you don't have a curve um a curve ruler you can just do it it's going to look like an s um going to look like s not an s <laughs> s when you after marking it then i went ahead to cut it and my measurement is also more than my actual armhole because this is going to um have it's going to be a free um like a buff hand that's what i marked there so i'm going to go ahead to the to the sewing part and what i did is to arrange the front and the back together the shoulders together and i went ahead to sew them on my machine then for the down part of it like i said that the is like three different bottom parts the front um waistline and the back one which is double that has zipper at the middle that's why it's double so i'm going to fold the down part then gather the upper part to be exactly the same length with my waist that's the front bodies and the back bodies i hope you understand what i'm trying to say So this is it after sewing the shoulders and also after gathering the down part i'm going to go ahead to join the two the, um, the two bodies you join the bodies and the gathers together this is for the one side of the back then also for the other side of the back and then for the front part of it i pinned it down so that i don't i don't miss it off or make him, uh, any mistake then i went i'm going to go to my sewing mesh, machine and um sew them together so 
so this is it after sewing um everything together so i'm going to go ahead and cut out so next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my collar and for this collar i folded my neckline into two and then my fabric the red fabric into two as well i'm going to go ahead and place it on the red fab fabric and trace out my neckline making sure that i have enough allowance under the fabric to cut out the length of the um the color that i want So what I did next is to um, fold my neckline into two and then place it on my fabric and trace it out. Then I went ahead to mark three inches all around for the neckline. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this side, this um, the down part together with it, including the side, and then I'm going to turn it inside out. Then for the sleeve, I'm going to go ahead and sew the down part for the two sleeve, and bearing in mind that you're going to pass your elastic through it so you are, whatever you are sewing you have to sew to pass through it so after sewing the collar i'm going to not give it to make a notch round it and um, to ease the tension and then turn it inside out i don't need to lay it flat So I went ahead to get the middle of the neckline then I'm going to sew this first one then turn it and then top stitch it um, I I'm supposed to fix my zipper uh, my zipper before sewing the um the collar but I made a mistake and I, I sewed it first so I had to start losing it up to resew it so that's what I'm saying then you are, um, I'm trying to correct here you're supposed to sew your um zipper you attach your zipper before um sewing in the collar to avoid unnecessary mistakes so this is it after sewing i think by now i haven't correct i haven't discovered my mistake but i'll still discover it and i have to remove it so i went ahead to hold in the zipper allowance um the zipper side of the fabric i'm going to uh, leave the zipper allowance open then sew the remaining one and then, then go ahead to attach my zip the next thing i did is to attach my sleeve um to the bodies uh, and there's a, there's going to be some uh, food in so i'm going to fold everything inside it to it accommodates the um sleeve then the next thing i did is to turn the fabric in outside because this is the um, right part i'm going to turn it to the wrong side of it and then sew the two sides with my uh, measurement from the armhole from the sleeve to the armhole down to where it ends I hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel share my videos to family and friends support my channel in any way you want to support it <laughs> and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>